It is but one stroke of the hour on one day in a hot summer month that can feel as though it's never going to end. But what happens at 4 p.m. Eastern on the 31st of July and in the frenzied weeks before reveals so much. You see, the trade deadline is a window into a baseball team's soul. So it has been for the Los Angeles Dodgers over the past 10 years, and never more so than this month, with a Manny Machado blockbuster that was equal parts desperate and pragmatic. Since 2008, no National League team has more regular season victories. The Dodgers dance their way to a win at home play. Only the Cardinals have played in more playoff games over that span. The postseason heroic continue. But baseball's ultimate prize, so tantalizingly close on the 1st of November last year, has eluded the Dodgers for three decades. The images of the Dodgers' last World Series title are so indelible that we can forget how long ago they occurred. In the interim, the Red Sox, White Sox, and Cubs have broken curses. Expansion franchises were born and won championships. The Dodgers' ancient rival in San Francisco has won three commissioner's trophies in this decade alone. In Hollywood, they call that a subplot. The setting of a seminal scene that opened July 20th, the first time Machado donned Dodger blue. I'm here to win, you know. At, at the end of the day, I want to win a ring. Everyone in there wants to win a ring. Machado will become a free agent in a matter of months. So it's rather easy and accurate to say his acquisition pertains to this year and this year only. But the 10 seasons that came before serve as crucial context. Clayton Kershaw, the defining player for this generation of Dodgers, made his debut in May 2008. Matt Kemp was then a rising star at age 23, part of a youthful homegrown core. And at the trade deadline that year, the Dodgers acquired an all-star slugger from the American League East named Manny. Manny's doing Manny. Manny Ramirez transformed the Dodgers from a 500 team into a division champion that opened the playoffs by sweeping the Cubs. But when the Dodgers fell to the Phillies in the next round, there began a narrative that continues to this day. Despite very good and sometimes great regular seasons, and memorable October moments, every Dodgers season since 1988 has ended without a downtown parade. So what if the Dodgers had acquired CC Sabathia in 2008, Cliff Lee in 2009, or Cole Hamels on any number of occasions? Last year, would the Dodgers have won the final game if Justin Verlander, instead of Yu Darvish, had joined their rotation? And then there's the most unsettling question of all. If not this year, then when? Timing a team's championship window is part of baseball's modern zeitgeist. The lifespan of such an opportunity is rather short, maybe two to three years, five or six in a truly exceptional case. These Dodgers dug in 10 years ago for what's amounted to an often brilliant but so far unsatisfying turn at bat. Kershaw was 20 when the era began. He is 30 now, with aches in his body and an opt-out in his contract. Even in a Hollywood studio, these golden moments can't stay right forever. And so Manny Machado became a Dodger in the heat of summer, which guarantees little in autumn except perhaps a winter free of regret, the kind Los Angeles hasn't known since 30 years ago.